okay hello dear friends here we have a few more problems right the solution set and there is um, <clears throat> there is um, a domain for where the x could be so what we get the answer may not fit into the domain so this is a tricky part okay let's do it the first one write the solution set i will copy the problem one two x plus seven equal negative five can you see it clearly i think so and x is x is one element of integers integers so <clears throat> 2x equal negative 12 x equal negative 6 and x 6 so the solution is uh, uh, is a negative 6 x is negative 6 negative 6 is integer integer includes positive and negative okay the second problem 5x minus 3 equal to 8 so <clears throat> uh, 5x equal to 11x equal to 11 over 5 and the condition is x is an element of integers oh, oh the answer is uh, uh, 11 over 5 so there is no solution no no solution for this particular one there is a solution but this solution does not does not fit into the integers uh, category number three two x plus six times three x minus two equal to zero and x is an element of rational rational numbers numbers let's see first we have two <clears throat> uh, two elements to multiply equal to zero so either of these is zero will be good so 2x plus 6 is zero bring to one solution or 3x minus 2 equal to 0 brings to another solution the first solution is negative 3 and the second solution is uh, 3 over two, uh, uh, 2 over 3 so those are both rational numbers so x is negative 3 and right it's within the domain do i make sense okay question number four four x plus three absolute value is nine and x is an element of positive numbers positive numbers so let's first uh, solve this problem if the absolute value is positive 9 so 4x plus 3 equal to 9 or 4x plus 3 equal to negative 1 and this one brings 4x equal to 6 and uh, x equal to 3 over 2 
and here it brings so this is x1 x2 4x equal to negative 12 x equal to negative 3 so we have four two solutions x1 and x2 and let's see where the domain uh, um, restrict us it has to be positive number and this one x equal to negative 3 is a negative number it does not belong into this domain so the answer is x is 3 over 2 only this one that one we will not count it okay okay number 5 number 5 x square equal to 81 and x is an element of real numbers what is real number any number is a real number except unreal number except imaginary number okay what is imaginary number imaginary number is uh, <coughs> the square root of a negative number because the, 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 in a real world it does not exist it only exists in our imaginary world okay so x squared is 81 x equal to positive or negative 9 positive 9 is real number negative 9 is also real number so the solution is x is negative 1 x is positive oh i always forget x is uh, positive 1 negative and positive okay so we are done with this little exercise okay here we look at this problem we want to graph the solution set so i will copy this problem and we will start to do it this paper is a little bit too big. I will use this uh, recycled paper. Graph the solution set. Graph it. Okay, the first one is 4x minus 3 is smaller than 7. 4x is smaller than 10. x is smaller than 5 over 2 and oh, oh I forgot to write x is an element is element of real numbers mm -hmm. x is element of real numbers so we draw a line and here is 0 and here is one, two, two and a half, five over two. And it's not included, so we make an empty circle, this part, and it continues go on, so we have an arrow set, okay? Number two. 2 minus 5x small and l equal to 17. What is the domain? x is an element of uh, real numbers. Okay, let's do some transformation of this. Uh, uh, do, do some operation. Negative 5x is smaller than 15x is bigger than negative 3 divided by negative 5. So the, 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 the direction of uh, inequality need to change so x is bigger than and s negative 3 is a real number so we draw a number line here is 0 here is negative 3 and x is bigger than negative 3 and negative 3 is included so 
we draw a solid circle and towards that direction go on and on and on and on and on on and on and on and on so that is the solution set number three <coughs> x minus two is bigger than five now here the domain is x is an element of integers integers uh oh again why I'm so always so let's do uh, this exercise so x minus 2 bigger than 5 or this we get to x bigger than 7 or x minus 2 smaller than negative 5 and this one we get x is smaller than negative 3 so what is the solution set here we have our number line and these are integers right so here we have 0 we have negative 3 and here we have positive 7 and it's not included so it's uh, smaller, smaller than negative 3, and all the integers, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, but only integers. And here, bigger than 7, but all integers. So he, this is our graph. So you better do some dots here, 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 okay? Number four. It's a little bit confusing, right? I, I mean, I, I made it a little bit. Um, the absolute value of three minus four x smaller or equal to nine, and the domain x is an element of integers okay I'm good at this this time so there are two possibilities 3 minus 4x is smaller or equal to 9 or 3 minus 4x bigger or equal to negative 9 so this brings us to negative 4x is smaller or equal to 6 and x is bigger or equal to uh, one and a half and this one brings us to negative 4x is bigger than negative 12 so x is smaller or equal to 3 okay <clears throat> so here oh, oh can you see it i am sorry i will use another paper so x is bigger x have to be bigger than uh, 3 over 2 and it has to be integers so let's write it down so we have two values one is 3 over 2 here we have 0 this one is 3 over 2 and another number is 3 and here is a 3 so it's a bigger than 3 over uh, a 3 over 2 but it must be integer right so it includes 2 and 3 only these two answers so the answer is 2 
and three. There's no line combine them together because it's not uh, um, every number including included. It's only three and uh, two and three. Okay, because it restricted us to the integers only. So the answer is two and three. So x two and three. There are only two numbers that fit into the bill. <laughs>